week two of the low carb cut grocery haul. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, if you are new. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have week two of the low carb cut grocery haul from Sam's Club. Yes, we went back to Sam's already and got more things even though we stocked up last week. Walmart, Target drive up, Whole Foods, Rouse's, Imperfect Foods you won't see. I will pop up a picture if it comes in in time. They've been running pretty late by the time I'm editing and getting things ready. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not so you can see everything in real time. Today's video is in collaboration with my my sister from another mister for sure jen over at in with jen's youtube channel definitely go and check her video out because she's also doing this way of eating low carb style and she has been finding all kinds of awesome things and letting me know about them and i've been going to get them and vice versa like we always help each other out we talk on a daily basis she is a true true friend of mine so go show her some love subscribe to her channel and check out her video and let her know in the comments that you came over from my channel if you are new to her so let's take you down to the counter and show you what we got from all the places. $25 Whole Foods quick haul. Some things that we needed last week they did not have. They were out of stock. So I went in and got them this week to tide us over. So we got those bananas from Sam's Club. They're too green and I need these tomorrow. And I don't like green bananas. I like them like almost on their last leg. Y'all comment down below how you like your bananas. But I like them like spotted brown like about to go bad. The mango pineapple salsa from Whole Foods is so good guys and it's expensive this is like $6.99 however I freeze it and it thaws beautifully so for two tablespoons it's really not that bad either as far as carbs it's four net carbs for two tablespoons 20 calories zero fat zero protein it's delicious and as you guys can see the ingredients are stellar I love this for our taco Tuesday and like I said you don't have to waste your seven dollars because we can't go through this for one night obviously we only use a couple of tablespoons but I put them in a little freezer bags and put them in the freezer and just pop them out and thaw them when we're ready for taco Tuesday and you can save money doing that don't let it go to waste something else we save money at Whole Foods is the white American cheese for Trey's keto queso it is more expensive at Walmart and they had these already sliced up in the little cooler thing so I grabbed them because I knew I would need them these were on sale. They were cheaper than the Whole Foods brand. Y'all know I like the Whole Foods brand best for the cheese and peanut butter crackers. Way better than Ritz. And they are better than these slightly, but not by too much. To, you know, it's definitely better to get the better deal if it's not a big deal as far as the ingredients go. So these are the late July snacks, organic peanut butter mini crackers. I love getting these for the boys because they are obsessed. So obsessed. I have to put these in our pantry way up high because if not, Waylon and Trey will eat a box by themselves and the hubby too. He indulges in these. He loves them as well. We try to get a better option. Like I say every week, guys, you don't have to go like the cleanest of the clean and don't let anybody make you feel bad about the options you're making, especially if you're making a better choice than what you did previously. Now, last week, I underestimated the amount of peaches I needed for the low carb cut week one. And man, one portion was like a whole bag of these. Like no joke when I plugged in my carb manager. These are delicious. The Whole Foods brand organic sliced peaches. What I do is I put my, I weigh it up on my scale. I put this in the refrigerator the night before, let them thaw out. And the next day they're good to go. Super sweet. And y'all, so many people are vilifying food. I'm getting so many comments and messages about fruits and veggies, not even anything else, because that's the majority of what I'm eating on the cut. For 50 calories, that's a cup of peaches, and then we've got 11 net carbs, guys. This is not a carby type of fruit, and if you're eating whole foods, fruit, and vegetables, they are whole foods. It's not filled with sugar. These are natural sugars. Oh my gosh, like we have so many things we got to get stigmas out, and so many things people need to learn, right? But that is what we got from Whole Foods for 25 bucks. $11 Rouse's haul. I went in there specifically for Walden Farms items. We'll talk about that in a minute. Their blueberries were on sale for $2. Walmart and Sam's Club's blueberries are like $5, $6 here. Y'all let me know like what's going on with some of the prices on things is crazy. But I got another one. I didn't really need another one, but we can always freeze those for the price. I couldn't pass it up. Also, their cucumbers were something stupid, like 25 cents a piece or something. I still have some left over from Sam's Club, but it wouldn't be enough to last me for this week. So I just picked up one. And the Walden Farms items I 
got. Okay, so I did get the Walden Farms pancake syrup. Y'all let me know what sugar-free, zero-calorie syrup you like. There are so many out there, and the ingredients vary so widely. So I want to try the Walden Farms one. I can't remember if I tried it way back when, when I first started keto or not. Now, the ingredients are not the best, I'm going to say, about Walden Farms. I've said that from the beginning, but I'm chasing results right now. And, you know, the Sin Fit is pretty comparable as far as the ingredients go, and I've been using it. So it is zero carbs, zero everything. It's got a little sodium in it. Y'all let me know if you like this one. They also have the Mrs. Buttersworth sugar-free one at my local Rouse's. They don't have it anywhere else. And that's what Greg Doucette and Remington James use. It has some calories in it, but they say it tastes the best, but it has like sorbitol and stuff in it, which probably wouldn't affect me, but you know, I, I don't know. <sighs> Y'all let me know down below. I want to hear thoughts. I also got some dressings because I wanted some dipping agents for some chicken strips and stuff. So this is the Chipotle Ranch one. It sounded so good. By the way, these are so much cheaper at Rouse's than they are at Walmart. I think these were $2.99. No, they were like $3, $2.99. Yeah, they're over $3 at my Walmart, the ones that they do have. This one is zero everything as well. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. And then creamy bacon. I mean, yes, please. We had to give this one a go. And this one does have one carb for two tablespoons though, but I will take that all day, every day. They had a million flavors of Walden Farm stuff. There is jellies. There is like all kinds of crap from Walden Farms. Y'all let me know what you've tried from them that you like, specific dressings, all the things I need to know down below all the thoughts while we are doing this way. We two low carb cuts. But Sam's Club haul for 85 bucks. Now, not for myself, but I got a huge bag of these mandarins for the boys. We are going to be going camping. I mentioned that in my week two meal prep video for Memorial Day. Uh, we were supposed to go for April for Easter, but because of all the craziness, we pushed it back. So I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to having as much fresh fruit on hand for them versus something else. And I know that they love these. So I got a big bag of those. Got a huge four pound bag of the Honeycrisp apples. I need apple spray recipe and I need a ton of apples. So this was a really great buy and Waylon loves them as well. So it's a win-win. Got two more packages of the strawberries. Y'all know on the low carb cut, this is my fruit of choice. Mostly I can eat large quantities of this for a little calorie. I went through one and a half of these for week one. So I went ahead and got two more. These, however, look like they're ready to roll now. So hopefully they will last. Y'all have been asking me how I keep my berries so fresh. And the key is I used to wash them and put them in containers and they would go bad so quickly. Leave them in the container and just take out what you need and wash as you go. They last forever that way. Same thing with the raspberries. I need a lot of them this week and I love getting them over at Sam's because you get two for so cheap. Like one of these is the same price as one at Sam's at Walmart and other stores. Ridiculous. Baby Bell mushrooms. I didn't necessarily need these. I still have like two packages because I got three last week. But again, I'd rather have more of something than not enough. And these again, something else that lasts forever in the fridge. Same thing with the liquid egg whites. I'm pretty good, but I have a lot. Everything with this lifestyle is like egg whites, egg whites, egg whites. And y'all know I was eating those before anyway, and I love them and they don't go bad forever. So I got one more package. We should be good for a little while. I shouldn't have to buy any more. Boys went through the entire 18 pack case of this Oikos triple zero yogurt last week. They love it. And like I said, if I can get like fruit and yogurt in them versus a bunch of other things, I'm here for that. You get six strawberries, six mixed berries, six vanilla. You can also have these on the low carb cut guys if you are doing that as well I still have I think a whole big package of the baby spinach again I'm doing a bunch of the big ass salads that I love to do so I went ahead and got that uh, Such a great deal over there. You get like half of that from Walmart I totally forgot to get this last week for week one. I had one can left I thought I had more but I didn't I'm flying through this stuff. I love the natural chunk chicken breast this stuff is so good and I think I'm going to use this for like a stuffed sweet potato, barbecue sweet potato recipe instead of just using regular chicken, just use this and make my life easy. I've had that before and it's delish. Something else the boys really enjoyed was the Quest tortilla chips. You get three of the nacho and three of the ranch. 
I mentioned last week I had to get these shipped with my Plus membership, and I did, and they didn't have them in club, but they had them in club today. I don't know. It's weird. Sometimes they're out of stock with things, or they don't have them, and I don't know what Sam's is doing. And then also, I was out of the nacho pickled jalapeno peppers. I use this for Trace Keto Queso, but I will be using these for recipes on the low carb cut as well. The ingredients on them are pretty good, and for the price, you cannot go wrong for four pounds of jalapenos. That's everything we got at Sam's Club for week two of the low carb cut, 85 bucks. $104 in-store Walmart run. What did we get for week two? I got some bananas. We have some left over from Sam's that we need to go through, but I got a couple of green ones to tide us over. I got some green onions for those anabolic enchiladas I'm gonna be making by Remington James. Again, I have that meal prep or meal plan video for week two linked down below if you wanna check it out so all this makes sense. I got the boys some Dave's Killer Bread Cinnamon Raisin Remix. We were out of bagels and they love these for breakfast or actually, you know, for lunch with some sugar-free jelly on it and with some yogurt. I mean, it's a good option. Osiri Snacking Rounds, Cranberry Orange is Trey's favorite. Favorite. He takes two of these with one of those yogurt cups I showed you every morning for school for his breakfast option. Y'all didn't see me haul any eggs last week because we had eggs on hand and I wasn't going through a lot of whole eggs, more like just the egg whites I showed y'all, but I'm down to my last dozen and I am gonna be using more of these this week than I was on week one. I love the Happy Eggs, the organic free range pasture raised for the taste. I've mentioned every video here lately, guys, don't let anybody make you feel bad for the choices you were making for you and your body. If all you can afford is regular conventional eggs, that is good, okay? so don't don't let anybody make you feel bad. I just like the way these taste. Got a bag of the market side premium romaine salad because I'm gonna use this entire bag for the Caesar salad recipe for Remington James for lunch this week. So I just needed that for myself. I got some fat-free cheese. Yes, fat-free cheese. I can't tell y'all the last time I've bought fat-free cheese. Like eons ago but don't come for me for this because if you bought any bag cheese it doesn't matter if it's fat free or not it's got the same ingredients in it as far as the anti-caking agent the only thing that's different with this is it's made with skim milk instead of full fat milk so i got the craft mozzarella fat free and the craft cheddar fat free for recipes this will last for a while thank you jesus because this is almost five dollars a bag for the fat free kind like it's insane my walmart does not sell their like great value version of the fat free go to your local like HEB if you're in Texas and other those places they have like their store version of these that are way cheaper and the exact same thing but this is all I can find for that got two more of the Faye zero percent cups these are just a dollar each I think I only needed one but I wanted to have extra just in case I switch something up on my daily macros Got the boys some more of the pimento cheese with jalapenos, especially since we're camping. The hubby likes that as well with pork rinds. I'll take that for them, so I needed a little bit extra. I got a little laughing cow cheese wasted. One of y'all said on last week's grocery haul, Nicole, do you think that this would be a good option on the low carb way of eating? And absolutely, and I forgot about these. I loved these when I lost my initial 85 pounds when I was doing low carb, and I was like, oh my God, I forgot about those. They are so good. So I'm going to replace this with some other things that I was using that were a little bit higher in calorie anyway. These, and not the original one, but the flavor ones, most of them are the light version. So for each little wedge, it's one and a half grams of fat, two protein, only one carb and 30 calories. These are also keto friendly for my keto strict people out there. The ingredients in my opinion aren't bad either. So I totally forgot about these. Garlic and herb I got. I got the aged white cheddar and then the creamy spicy pepper jack. Yum. I cannot wait to add these to some wraps and some stuff. That's going to be an awesome new treat. I know the little things in life, right? Y'all have seen me haul these in the past all the time. I was making my homemade ones and I will go back to making those as well. This is just easy, like quick on the go and easy to plug into my car manager. That's why I went with this route. So these are the Butterball all natural turkey breast sausage patties. I love these. The macros on them are great. So for two patties, you get seven grams of fat, 110 calories, zero carb, and 10 protein. It does have a little bit of sugar, as you see there, but it's less than 2%, and it's low on the bottom of the list. So it, it's not even registering a carb, guys, or even sugar. So it's like minuscule. I love these so much, and I also got the links 
for this week instead of a lot of turkey bacon. For a recipe, I needed some, actually two recipes, some extra lean ground beef. This is a 96% lean. Make sure when you're cooking like your lean proteins, you don't overcook them because they're going to get hella dry. So make sure you just cook them so they're like not raw and like take it off the heat like automatically. I did that with that turkey, ground turkey last week and it was delicious, not dry at all and like so macro friendly. So I got, this is two and a quarter pounds. Also got some chicken breast tenderloins. I could have got just the, the big chicken breasts from Imperfect Foods and cut them up myself. Again, this is going to help me with prep, make my life easier. They're already cut up and good to go. This package was $8.20 and this one was $7.51. Going to be eating a lot of it and whatever I don't, I can freeze and put away for another week. Also for convenience, y'all know I love getting the chopped onions because I hate chopping onions more than anything in life because I hate crying and looking like a hot mess. And these taste just the same, especially when you put them in recipes. So I got that for the fridge because I didn't have any. Waylon, I said last week, is obsessed with these yummy spoonfuls, little mini pancakes. They did have the apple and sweet potato flavor. So I grabbed that for him because he's almost out. We were also out of the little zipper snack size Ziplocs. These are a hundred bags for the price. You can't beat them. I need these for the boys snacks for camping and for lunches. And then I hauled two of the G Hughes sugar-free ketchups last week, but the hubby and I are flying through it with the sweet potato fries and different things that we're making. And this stuff is bomb. I forgot how good this one tastes. It has sucralose at the very bottom of it, guys, if you're against that, but we're not against sucralose anymore in this household and I'm here for it. Got that for a backup. That's everything we got at Wally World for $104 for week two. Random spontaneous Target drive up haul. So am I the only one that like stopped the Target app for certain products that have been sold out. This one in particular, the Applegate Uncured Turkey Bacon, $3.99 at Target versus like $8 at Whole Foods. I mean, craziness. They have been sold out for a week or two and I'm using all what I have on hand this week. So I wanted to make sure I had some backup, especially when they had it on hand. So I put four in my cart and I was lucky enough to get it. So I got four of those. Again, such a great price at Target versus Whole Foods. Do not pay that crazy price over there. I also realized that when you watched the grocery haul from Walmart, I needed an extra pound of lean ground beef for when we come back from camping that Monday, we are going to be having, I think, cheeseburger wraps and I have zero lean ground beef and I know I'm not going to have time to go to the store when we're coming back from camping. So I just picked up one there. This is the Laura's Lean Natural Beef. That's the only one they have in the 96%. So I snagged it. Something else they've been sold out, like all the Applegate stuff has been out at my store for weeks. Like everybody's on the bandwagon. I needed this for some pizzas that we're going to be using those salsa Texan big coconut tortillas. I have the big ones and the small ones. The big ones are great for pizzas. They're five five net carbs and like 25 calories. So good. We're going to use these when we go camping for an easy, quick dinner. I needed another container of the good culture. This is the 2% cottage cheese for recipes this week. Cause I only have one. I wanted to make sure I have enough. This is hard to find. I can only find it at target and at whole foods and it's half the price at target. Again, something that sold out quite often. Now y'all saw this last week. The boys are loving this Quaker oatmeal squares and the cinnamon flavor. They have a berry flavor or something I think at Walmart, but they don't have the cinnamon one and they are absolutely loving it. Better ingredients than Cinnamon Toast Crunch. We have to pick better options right, pick our battles, and this is definitely a better choice. I'm glad that they're liking that. Now, my girl in with Jen, she has been raving about this Target brand, Good & Gather Organic, olive oil and Himalayan sea salt popcorn. Y'all know I'm loving the Smart Pop so much. It is so good. But this one is good ingredients versus our Smart Pop, which I'm not against it. You know, I still will be eating that Smart Pop. It is so freaking bomb. But the macros are good on it. So for a full serving is three cups is 110 calories, five fats, and it is 11 net carbs, which is great. So it's lower net carbs on this and two protein. So she says it's really good. I cannot wait to try. And that was under $3 for this huge bag. It has the reclosable zipper thing on there, which is pretty cool. So kudos to Target for that. That was a good find. So under $35 for our Target drive up. I'm loving that drive up so much. Y'all let me know down below if you use Target for the drive up because that is where it's at, especially when we can get cold stuff. So that's now. gonna do it for week two grocery haul for the low carb cuts. Please give this video 
video a huge thumbs up if you like watching these grocery hauls here on my channel. And if you are new and coming from Jen's channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and make sure the bell is clicked so you never miss a beat when I upload a new video. Again, don't forget to go and check out Jen's video and also her channel, subscribe, do all the things. You're gonna absolutely love her. If you've been watching me for a long time, you will love her, I promise. Y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week on your journey, whatever that may be. And we'll see you for week three of the Low Carbs Cuts grocery haul. Bye, y'all.